Hi there, welcome back to my views and news, breaking news for you from Somali land, Somalia, Ethiopia, tensions, drones in the picture. Somalia's government has deployed drones reportedly to monitor, monitor what? Monitor the movement of Ethiopian uh, officials, uh, Ethiopian military in Somali land or for some other purposes. Details for you in this video. Secondly, Oromo Liberation Army today issued a statement, uh, not official statement, but it is being reported by pro Ola elements. We got confirmation from Ola. The statement is about the strike which has been ongoing in Romo for the last five days. It seems that Romo Liberation Army has decided to put an end to this strike, a debilitating strike, paralyzing strike. What are Ola's plans? What is Ola's next plan? What was the objective behind this ban on movement of vehicles, movement of uh, uh, food items to and from? Um, Romia region. I have received details. I contacted people close to Ola. What is Ola's position? I want to share with you. Firstly, viewers, big development uh, from the Horn of Africa, where for the last five days we have been seeing unprecedented tension between Ethiopia and Somalia. Unprecedented in uh, recent history. Uh, though the two countries have fought wars, obviously, in the past, Ethiopia and Somalia, but in recent history, there has not been a big escalation between these two countries. Now, it seems that uh, Somalia has decided to pull no punches. No matter what happens, it was to stop Ethiopia from recognizing Somaliland from establishing a base and port in Somaliland. This uh, conflict started five days ago when Ethiopia signed an MOU with Somaliland's government. Somaliland is a self-declared country. International law recognizes Somaliland as part of Somalia. And according to Somaliland president, Ethiopia will recognize my land as a country in return for Ethiopia acquiring land, uh, coastal land in Somaliland for a uh, period of 50 years. We saw that today a big protest was held in uh, Brahma which is very close to Ethiopian border. It is in Odal zone of the Somali land. And uh, in Odal is uh, Loghaya, where Ethiopia is planning to establish a port and base reportedly. Thousands attended this uh, protest. They rejected the MOU between Ethiopia and Somaliland. Now, reportedly, Somalia has deployed drones to monitor the developments, the movement on the ground in Lohayo. Lohaya. Uh, Somalia has modern TB2 combat drones. Turkey gave these drones to Somalia. Turkey is helping Somalia's government in the fight against Al Shabaab. Turkey has a military base in Somalia. Turkey has been training Somalia's military. So, Turkey is a close ally of Somalia's government. And Hassan Sheikh has contacted a few world leaders so far. Erdogan is one of them. He contacted Erdogan, uh, Yuvari Mosavini from Uganda, and Al Sisi from Egypt. All could be big players in case of direct confrontation between Ethiopia and Somalia. That is why. Hassan Sheikh held telephonic uh, conversation with Erdogan two days ago. Uh, Turkey provided TB2 drones are being seen over uh, Lohaya reportedly. It is being reported by some local. They say that 
flights of drones are ongoing. By the way, drones fly at high altitude. They are not mostly visible from the ground. If drones are flying at a low altitude over Lohaya, it is a message. Uh, it is a message for Somali land government, for Ethiopian government from Somalia. Firstly, Somalia wants to monitor the movement of uh, uh, people or uh, delegations on the ground in uh, Odal zone, Lughaya. Ethiopian officials reportedly, they are set to arrive in Lughaya. Today, we heard unconfirmed reports that uh, maybe today some Ethiopian uh officials including some engineers could visit Lohaya from Somali region of Ethiopia. Uh, then we saw protests in Odal in Burama. So I don't think that today Ethiopian officials uh, entered uh, Odal to reach uh, Lohaya. Before that Somalia is using its drones to monitor the movements on the ground in Lohaya. I think deliberately the drones are flying at low altitude. Uh, Somalia is showing its capabilities to Ethiopia, to Somali land. That Somalia's military capabilities should not be taken lightly. Both Ethiopia and Somalia are using TB2 drones. Turkey gave these drones to the two countries. Ethiopia used these drones against uh, Tigaraya fighters and now the drones are being used against Fano fighters in the Amhara region. Somalia has been using these drones against Al-Shabaab fighters. Now, the TB2s of Somalia could be uh, pitted against TB2s of Ethiopia. Alarming developments strong messages shared by Somalia's government that no matter what happens, it won't let Ethiopia gain access to the sea in Somali land. Whether by military means or political means or through proxy war, whatever the tactic is available and suitable, Somalia wants to stop Ethiopia. This is what is happening. And today's protest in Odal was a big protest. In Barao was a protest. Uh, there was a protest held to around 24 hours ago to the east of Fargisha. Then in Odal, uh, close to Ethiopian border, a big demonstration. I'll speak in detail about some other developments in the next live chat session. Today's live chat session after around two hours uh, so uh, join me uh, for the live chat where we'll read comments take i'll take your questions too and then i'll share more developments about this big uh, escalation of tension between ethiopia and somalia in somali land Second was Oromo liberation army has ended its call for a strike Five days ago, Romo Liberation Army announced a ban on movement of vehicles and goods across the Oromia region. And we saw road closures across Oromia, roads between Oromia and Biji, Oromia and Siddama, Oromia and Amhara, Oromia and uh, Gambala and other inter-regional roads were blocked. Intra-regional roads were blocked as well uh, because uh, Ola members uh, warned people against traveling. They warned the vehicle owners against traveling. So some vehicles were attacked by Ola members. That is why uh, there was a sort of ban on transportation. The ban has been lifted. Today, Ola lifted the ban. The ban remained in place for around five days. When will the Oromo Liberation Army make the next call for this ban? That remains to be seen. Next call will be made, I think. Why? I talked to a few people 
who are part of Ola. Uh, they have been in touch with me for years. Uh, and I uh, always uh, admit when I contact people in Fano, in Ola, in, in uh, Tegarai, uh, they are my connections for years, very reliable ones. So I talked to them. I asked about their intention. What do they want? Why are they adopting a new strategy of market closure, business closure, road closure? What is the real objective? They say that they, by the way, I concluded that two days ago in the live chat. I said that uh, Romo Liberation Army basically wants to hurt Ethiopian economy. And that is what was confirmed to me by the Ola representative today. He said that. Uh, Macroeconomic progress, if it leads to revenue generation in Ethiopia, the revenue generation will be used by Ethiopian government to buy drones, to buy weapons. And these drones, weapons will be used against uh, poor Oromo people. Oromo is already dying. That is why uh, Ola cannot allow such economic activity which is going to endanger Oromo civilians. Really. That is what I concluded last night too and uh, two days ago too, that Ola's main target is economy now. And uh, whether Ola is following Fano or Fano is following Ola, both now seem to have same objectives. Fano destabilized entire Amhara region. Businesses closed, investments to stand still in Amhara. Ola doing the same in Oromia. And uh, I told you last night in live chat that prices of some basic food items are going up in Addis Ababa and the parts of Oromia. Ola does not want inter regional movement of goods. So, ban has been lifted, but not complete lifting of ban so far. Intra regional traffic is allowed to operate now. Inter-regional uh, cargo traffic not allowed, reported. So, all our members will continue their attacks on vehicles traveling from Romia to other parts of uh, uh, the country or vice versa. That is what I uh, have been able to confirm. So, a big challenge for uh, Ethiopian government. The question is, what, are, what does Ola want to cripple the government economically? Does it want to force the government to come to the table for third round of talks? Or does it want the government to collapse? And it is trying to destabilize the government so that the government is, so the government collapses. Difficult to say. Both uh, objectives, maybe both are objectives of the Romo Liberation Army, but it's now attack on Ethiopian economy what Ola and Fano are doing. Ban lifted, uh, traffic movement resuming in Oromia, markets allowed to open by Ola, inter regional traffic and movement of goods transport still banned by the Oromo Liberation Army. Thank you for watching.